Well hey guys, it's Nicholas, and this is a very special video for all you Power World enjoyers out there. This is the official How to Train Your Power instructional video. So, grab a notepad and pen, because this will make your life so much easier. Some pals were harmed during the making of this video. The history of power training. Power training is a relatively new endeavor, though through taking in knowledge learned about pal behaviors, hours of fighting and killing them, as well as my own observations, I, Nicheless, have established the PAL Authoritative Training Academy, or PADA. The training of PALs in one form or another has occurred prior to this, probably, but this is way more in depth. Forming a relationship with PALs is essential, and many have done it in the past and will probably continue to do so into the future. The most notable ways of initial training throughout history include the use of hashlings as a method of labor and sustenance. While many other guilds have also been training pals for centuries, probably, I don't know, it's only been out like a couple of weeks, I don't know. Using them to grow berries and wheat. Uh, yeah, this part is kind of boring. Next, onto the purpose of training pals. Now, power training, first and foremost, is to prevent injury to the humans and properties when dealing with pals, which can be obtained through different methods. And remember, pals are your property, so you can do what you want with them. After a pal knows its place, more advanced training can occur for the purposes of labor, war, transport, labor, and even as food and products. Positive training techniques. Most notably is intimidation and force. In all PAL species, there is a level of hierarchy even from other species. When properly executed with the right amount of fear, intimidation and force, see this depressor? This is your life now, and if you don't like it, I'll turn you into a bat, okay? This can become the most effective way of training your PAL. Go back to work, you little shit. Breaking in pals is similar to training in horse riding and it's another way of getting a positive response from your pal. So, by chaining it against its will, with the use of such a pal ball or whatever you want to call it, I don't know what they're called, they skated the copyright, let's just call it a pal ball. Now remember, if your pal's being difficult, you can give it some tough love, reminding it of its place. Find your own way home, loser. Physical restraints. Taking away the pal's freedoms with the use of a pal sphere or a pal ball, whatever you want to call it, is a great way to get them to listen to you. So, caging them in pal balls when not performing tasks, using things such as chains, muzzles, bits and bridles will prove effective. You want to sleep on the job, yeah? No, don't pretend like you want me now. I caught you sleeping before. Find your own way home, little loser. Additionally, training pals to injury can also prove the effectiveness in breaking their wills. He's depressed, guys. Look, he's depressed. Oh, he's feeling depressed. Come here. You wanna be all depressed and mopey? Yeah. Maybe a walk will help. Allow them to sustain sufficient injuries and delay their treatment until they're truly broken. Psychological restraints. When dealing with pals, it's best to go around and murder all their immediate friends. Like you can see here. This will definitely instill a sense of hopelessness within your pals. Negative training techniques. Some pals will seek their natural inclinations towards you as their trainer. So, here are the negative training methods that you should best avoid when training your pals. Positive reinforcement. You should never let your pal be rewarded for their actions. Instead, administer a beating. Physical bonding. Some pals will want to connect physically, and they do this through petting and affection. Disgusting! You should never allow this to happen. Instead, administer a beating, preferably until injury occurs. Rewarding behavior. Some pals will seek rewards, 
These, in most cases, are in the form of food and drink. Now while that seems innocent at first, this can lead to a larger issue, that being expectation. But the best way to correct this type of behaviour is by making an example of what happens to hungry pals. Take another pal, preferably one the problem pal has a connection with, then butcher it in front of it and all the other pals. Now the next step is crucial. Once butchered, cook the pal meat into a delicious recipe near the work site. And make sure the smell affects the problem pal. Once the cooking is complete, force feed the problem pal the remains of its friend. This will keep a good amount of fear and intimidation in your pals for months to come. This is only the surface of some of the techniques on how to train your pals. To know more, make sure you like and subscribe.